Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Hofstra Pride and the Duke Blue Devils. Number 12 is the freshman phenom will try to put his team on his back and attempt to pull out the W here tonight. He's your man if you need a defensive stop. He's your man if you need a big basket. He's the man his opponents hate to match up against. The Blue Devils will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. And with a tip of the ball, the game begins. The Blue Devils, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. Number one, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Secondly, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. And finally, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The small forward takes the feed. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Basketball is special to me for that reason right there. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The ball goes out of play. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The center takes the pass. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. From three-point territory, you betcha. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. He keeps his dribble as they reset. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from downtown. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. <laughs> Number 15, pump fakes. There's a double team waiting there. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Frustration right there. This is swarming defense. Trying to draw the foul. What should they do here, Dick? Let's go time out and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening.
We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. They work the perimeter. He takes the shot off the baseline. Way off target. The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for him. Trying to feed the low block. Pushes it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to fall. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Gave it up. The center with the ball. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. The shooting guard gets the pass. From right in the circle, Duke are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. They go into the low block. The center gets the ball. They still don't score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The fake. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Fakes it. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. And in and out. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Down inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Great play to take that to the basket. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Puts it up, looking for contact. Easy one. Looking for a good shot. On the inside, here's a double team. A great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. I have to see that one again. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. He fakes the shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. 
He shoots from the baseline. Great shot. Now trying to feed the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Sinks the shot. With anticipation defensively. He strokes it. Off the rim and no good. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He steps up to the line. He missed it. Gives it up. Martinez is eager and excited to compete. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Perfectly executed. Stolen away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Rejects it. Good fake. He looks at the hoop. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Ten on the shot clock. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. For two, up and in. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Meeks makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Yes, two at the charity strike. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Keep your eye right on the ball here. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. 
On the dribble, gives it up. Nice fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Hofstra are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There he is, strips the ball loose. Grab your camera, Mr. Nessler. With a bucket, the land. <laughs> Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Now an opportunity the other way. Martinez draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. Cashed it in. Drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Double team now. Bad angle. Gets a hand in the way. They work the perimeter. Got the shot if he wants it. There's the trap. Turns it over. with a double team to stop it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Entry pass in the paint. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Looking for a good shot. Shot's there if he wants it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From left of the circle. Got it. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He gets it to go. Look at that spacing. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He shoots from right of the circle. Here's one more look at it. Look from three-point land. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. They 
would like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. He strips him clean. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Tries for two. Hofstra is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Picks off the lazy pass. Kick out. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. And his shot rejected. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy got inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. It's good. Dribble gives it up. Another turnover. You're not talking out the turnovers either. I post screen, gonna use it. For the bucket. That was nice. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad. If they can get a score, this place is gonna go wild. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Goes up for two. Sinks it. off the pass for two perfectly executed let's see if they go two for one here dick there's a double team waiting there got an open look if he wants it Ten seconds to get it off. Shot clock is dead. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He looks for the bomb. Tickles a twine. He throws it up from downtown. He drains the shot. At the end of the first half, the Blue Devils are ahead by eight. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? Hey, Brad, when you look back at the first half, you have to consider this three ball which set the tone for how the first half was going to go. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out.
Duke was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Our focus player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do, do you think? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of bounds. Get rid of it, Brad. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. They're working around the perimeter. Number 21 is admired by the fans. Listen to that ovation. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six-man for no reason. Fake. Here's a double team from left of the circle. Frierson was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Intercepted. I love it when teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You gotta help your teammate out. You gotta rotate over. With the fake. Dickey's gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes it away. From right of the circle, he makes the shot. Stolen away. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And we got a whistle and a foul. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. They work the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. The kick out. Tries for two. Drains the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. He wants a three. Oh, he's got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Goes in. Bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh. 
And the ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? There's the fake. He tries a jump hook. I'd say great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Leans in. Hofstra are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, now to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. For two, perfectly executed. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Launches the three. Makes it. for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. He launches a three. Knocks it down. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Scorches the net. He intercepts it. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. He squares up down on the low block. I'll tell you, you teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. And he misses the shot. Intercepted. He's got a high post flasher. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Take another look at that play.
Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Hofstra are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Gave it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. For the bucket. Up, oh, easy one. Puts up the tray. He gets the shot to fall. That's basic. Pushing that basketball. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal it off. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And he'll kick it back outside. On the outside, he takes a three. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. He comes away with it. He hacked him. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. He buries it. And he got them both. For two, perfectly executed. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focus. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. On the outside. Wide open for the shot. Way off target. Tries for two. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. They're working around the perimeter. The prize of a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Robs him of the ball. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Dump it inside. For the bucket. 
Great play to take that to the basket. Takes away the pass. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Duke are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Great defense. He shoots from the top of the key. Rims out. Dumps it in. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. With a tremendous block. The small forward with the ball. He buries the shot. The Blue Devils are ahead by five. Picked out of the air. He shoots from right of the circle. Sinks the shot. Let's see the replay. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? They work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Entry pass in the paint. Duke have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Jumped in front to take it away. For two, he buries it. Basic. On the dribble, gives it up. They've left him completely alone. He lets it fly. Off the rim and no good. The ball goes out of play. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Turnaround jumper, and he missed. Bates has the offensive rebound. Got some room. He puts up the tray. It's good. Here's another look, Dick. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He takes it away. They're off into transition for the bucket. Finger roll. off the pass tries for two 
Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Picks off the lazy pass. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. The Ruckus fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. On the outside. Looks for a three-pointer. He drains the shot. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Goes up for two. Rims out. Steals the pass. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Strips the ball. Here they come on the break. Goes up for two. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes away the pass. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets the bucket to fall. We're going to move it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Well, it's time to start fouling. They gotta stop the clock, Dick. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Gets his second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Defense! Defense! Launches the bomb. He gets that one to fall.
I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. It's stolen. Here we go on the break. He goes for three. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most affected, Brad. Duke accepts a difficult loss. It's the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.